All right, lesson 11-3 on data distributions. I'm gonna run through this fairly quick. If you need more information than what I explain here, there's also several links in Canvas on the page for this class that you can get. So uh, you got your data distributions, a normal distribution is a bell curve, skewed has like a tail off to the left or the right. Here's a skewed left. This would be skewed right for your uh, shape of the graphs. Standard deviation is gonna go with the mean and you're gonna use that whenever you have normal. And then the five number summary, if you have a skewed distribution with the median, because then you have out, might be more likely to have an outlier and that doesn't affect your median because of the middle number in the list. So five number summary, let's use the next example because they're already put in order for us. So work your way to the middle. I think if I counted these up already, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 of them. So seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, on the bottom half and the top half, so this would be my median. If your median splits between two numbers, then you're just gonna find the average of those two or the mean. Um, then if you want your lower quartile, the middle of this, oops, not that one, it's gonna be the same number, but it's this 12. So the middle here, that's called your lower quartile or sometimes quartile one, and your minimum, the three. Similarly, on the top half here, this 33 splits this top half in half. That's called your upper quartile or sometimes quartile three. And then this 35 would be your max. So there's your five number summary. If you do have a problem like this one where the number data is not organized, you'll have to start by putting it in order all right, so then we have some uh, shape, center, and spread. Hopefully you've heard of these terms before. The shape is that normal or skewed left or skewed right type of shape of the graph. The center is mean, median, mode. Those three. And then the spread of your data, that's either gonna be your one of your ranges your range of data, there's an inner quartile range. If you take Q3 minus Q1, like I explained, and then your spread is also, if you have a normal distribution, you're gonna use the mean and standard deviation is the spread, how far the data is spread out. All right, move on from there. Here's a picture of those where it's organized a little more neatly than my scribbling on the last page. So if you need this in your notes, pause the video and copy that down. Moving on from there. So what's the better measure of the center and spread? So are we gonna use the mean with the standard deviation? Or are we gonna use the median with either the range or interquartile range. And so what you need to know is this is gonna be more often if you have your normal distribution, a bell curve, and then this is gonna be if you either have outliers or if you have the, uh, the not normal distribution or bell curve. So skewed right or skewed left. So looking at your data here, um, the 55 to 61, if we were to look at those, is that more of a normal distribution or is it more skewed? So if you kind of think of, I've got 50, I've got 60, 61, 51, 52, 54, 5, 6, 7, 58, 59, Just gonna put a mark here quick to kind of get a quick idea. 
So we've got a couple of 55s. We've got three 57s, a couple of 58s, several 359s, and a couple of 61s. So if you look for the middle of that, and being right here, that's going to be pretty much evenly spread out. So that's going to be your mean and standard deviation. On the other hand, if you look at the next one and you take 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, we take a look at those, I see three 110s. I see a couple of 120s. I see a 130 and a 140 and then a 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So see how this would be more of a skewed right. So when it's more of a skewed graph, then for this, you're going to be using your median and your interquartile range or range for your spread. All right, so there's my normal distribution. All of my centers all end up falling in the middle, so we end up using the standard deviation. Uh, we just talked about that on the last one. And we've already mentioned these as well. So this is your summary. For distributions that are approximately normal, use the mean and the standard deviation. If you have something skewed, use your median and your quartiles to describe the data. And that wraps up this lesson.